Welcome to the Sports Betting Spotlight for the Las Vegas Review Journal NFL Preview Series. We're at the Golden Nugget Book in downtown Las Vegas. And I'm with uh, Dave Koken, the Las Vegas radio host and a handicapper, SmokinKoken.com, and Tony Miller, Golden Nugget Book Director. Dave, we're going to talk about the San Diego Chargers. They're in the spotlight today, 4-12 and last season, 1-7 and on the road, 0-6 oh within the division. Got some issues already. Top draft pick Joey Bosa, number three out of Ohio State, holding out in the contract dispute. Eric Weddle, the heart and soul of the defense, past few years, safety, gone to Baltimore. Do you think the Chargers can be a little bit better than last well, season? Well, yeah, I, I do because, look, everything went wrong last year for them. I mean, it was Murphy's Law in that football team. And I think with the offensive line being perhaps a little more cohesive, having been together for a year and just about everybody's back there, there should be some positive progress made. I don't know that it's going to get them to 500, which a lot of people seem to think is going to be the case because they're betting the over and the win total. But uh, I think they'll be a more representative team than they were a year ago. Phillip Rivers can still play a little football. One thing they've got going on Bosa, if you believe in trends, the last time I think they had a first-round draft pick hold out for this long was LaDainian Tomlinson. And look how well he did. So Bosa's going to sign and become the best player in the league just like, well, maybe, <laughs> maybe not. But I do like Bosa, and I think uh, uh, while the missing training camp uh, is going to hurt his progress, I think the Chargers are probably in position to make a little bit of improvement this year. I could see them being right around 500. All right, Tony, he talked about the offensive line being better, and I think it will be too. Obviously, it can't be much worse than last season. Still, despite the line issues last season, Phillip Rivers second in the NFL in passing yards with 47-92, 29 TDs. He was second to Drew Brees in passing yards. They need a better Melvin Gordon at running back. What do you see as the Chargers issues, positive or negative here? You're, you're right. I mean, you know, first of all, here at the Nugget, they're betting the Chargers to win the Super Bowl in the future books. I get beat on the future book with the Chargers. They're betting the season wins over for some reason. I don't get it. You know, Philip Rivers, he's a great quarterback. He throws the ball a lot. Uh, but, man, he's got old man Antonio Gate. Too. He's got, you know, hardly any receivers at all. <coughs> Melvin Gordon has to have a super, super year to run the ball and get this team rolling. Problem is their defense. That 3 4 defense, I just hate. Saw linebackers, but they never get to the quarterback. So they give up a lot of points, and their defense is very, very weak. Mike McCoy, 22 and 26 in three seasons. The Heat's got to be on him going into this season, right? Uh, well, you know, former offensive corner. I, you know, I'm not solid on him either. Um, All right, the Chargers win total here at the Nugget is seven. The over is minus 160. They're bound in the over. I just don't get it. I don't know. I, I can't stop the bleed, Matt. All right, Dave. So if the Chargers are going to take a step up here and be an 8-8 eight eight team, who can take a step back in the uh, AFC West? Well, everybody loves the Raiders. So naturally, that'll be the – look, all I know is every year it seems the sexy preseason pick turns out to be a bit of a bust. It might be the Raiders that go a little bit backwards. The Chiefs obviously uh, – have a good football team built for the regular season. You know, I mean, it's just I just think that the Chargers are going to steal a few wins that they lost last mm -hmm. year in games that they could have been competitive, but yeah. it's just again a Murphy's Law season. They had some close games. Yeah. They did. All right, Tony, your bold prediction on the Chargers win total seven over uh, way under. I think it's going under. So if you like a good number on the under, come down to the Nugget. It's here. <laughs> All right, for Tony Miller and Dave Koken, that's the sports betting spotlight on the San Diego Chargers.